Hey everybody, welcome back to another exciting action figure Friday. And today we're back to some nice horror action figures from the NECA Ultimate line with the brand spanking new Jason Voorhees from Friday the 13th, the 2009, I wanna say, remake, reboot, that was, eh. Uh, <laughs> you know, I'm a hardcore old school Jason fan, so I really, couldn't get on board with some of the changes they made to them. A few changes here and there are pretty cool, but overall, uh, kind of meh. I started rewatching it again the other night too, and I'm like, eh, all right. <laughs> that being said though, this figure does look pretty cool, and of course we get the awesome window box packaging that I've come to love from NECA, and we should get some nice backgrounds, which will be fun to use for future uh, action figure photography which on occasion I am doing a little bit of on my Instagram now in between food and travel photos. So if that's something you wanna check out, that's at the Eric Butts over on Instagram. And of course he's gonna come with some cool things here as usual and we can open up the box. You get a nice photo from them. Very good lighting, nice and moody. And you can kind of get a sense there, even though it's kind of glossy. We are gonna get a couple of heads. So we are gonna get the hockey mask and the, their version of the bag head, which I do appreciate their version of the bag head a little bit more than uh, the actual original. And I mean, the hockey mask is iconic, so it's hard to screw that up, except they did a couple of times in original films. But, <laughs> you know, part five, anyone? Although I guess they definitely had their reasons back then. And the one in eight just always looked bad to me. But that's, again, just my taste. We all get to have our own tastes. I'm not gonna worry too much about this box because the box is gonna get tossed. I just don't have room to save these boxes. So let's just get in here and see what we got. We'll take a look at the figure in a second. And yes, nice creepy woods background. That'll make for some fun things to film and photograph. Cool. All right, but I will need this box for my thumbnail, so put that to the side. All right, let's start getting these accessories out and taking a look at what we've got. It has been a minute since I've had a NECA horror figure to unbox, as I've kind of caught up on most of the ones I had missed in the past. And I've been doing a lot more Godzilla work here lately. So we'll just try to get all these pieces out. I probably could have done this much better than I'm doing it, but you know. I'm a professional unboxer. Don't try this at home, is basically what I'm saying now. <laughs> That's right, if you buy a toy, don't open it. You have to hire somebody like me to come over to your house, take it out of the box for you. That is not as funny as I think it is. All right, we're almost there. That is a long machete. That's practically a sword. Nice fire poker. All right, now we go, oh crap. I hate these things so much. All right, we'll get there, we'll get there. Especially when I can't figure out, okay, how exactly <laughs> have these been wound? Here we go. Uh, okay, cool. At least I'm getting this one started. This may take a minute, so what do you wanna talk about? What's your favorite Friday the 13th movie? <laughs> We've probably had this discussion before. I definitely go for part four and six. It's always a toss up for me between those two. Can never really decide. Granted, they were ones I really, really grew up with as well. Six has a far superior soundtrack, but four has the awesome Corey Feldman. So, you know, where do we go from here? Oh, and Crispin Glover. So, I mean, you know. <laughs> and it starts the Tommy Jarvis arc, whereas six finishes the Tommy Jarvis arc, which if they ever do do a proper redo, <laughs> uh, remake of this series, I really hope they will explore further a uh, proper redoing of the Tommy Jarvis arc. There we go, we finally have all the twist ties out. But did we get them out enough? All right, yes we did, all right. Get out of here, nobody cares about you. Now we can finally start looking at this action figure. We got the nice bag head head. It's pretty cool, really digging on that. Looks like it's gonna be pretty easy swap. We may try that out. We have these super ooper duper long machete. Machete. This thing does not text either, just so you know. You got a nice little fire poker. That's gonna be pretty easy to break. Nice little screwdriver. They did kind of go through a decent compliment of his weapons back then. Was it a pickaxe? Is it a climbing axe? I can't exactly remember what that is. I didn't finish rewatching. And it's funny that the hatchet is like way smaller than the machete, so that's kind of fun. When are they gonna make me a Victor Crawley figure, by the way? That, there you go, NECA, you listening? I know we got some other cool action figures coming up soon. Like I do have Candyman on order. I don't think he's in the ultimate line though. All right, let's take a look at the actual action figure. There's a lot of great detail going on here actually. There's more going on with this than I would have thought. I like the aging of the mask for sure. The long strands of hair are pretty nice actually. We'll take a look under that mask. Uh, uh, you guys. <laughs> 
face. Uh, lots of flaps and pieces to the coat. I did like the coat look. I think that's one thing they added to his design that totally worked for me. And we got the pants, he's carrying a pouch there. You know, that's where he gotta, he's gotta keep his chapstick and such, so. <laughs> and you do get feet pegs. So let's take a quick run down here on the articulation. You got a pretty good yes and no amount of head here. A little bit of side to side, but I don't think you need too much more. A little bit of tilt, so that's pretty good. Shoulder play, oh yeah, that gets up real nice. Plenty of spin around there. Right above the elbow, you have another pivot point. It is a single jointed elbow, but it works pretty well and it still looks like an elbow after you have it. Of course, the hand is gonna twist. You do get a decent amount of uh, wrist articulation in there, actually. A little bit more than I'm used to in these NECA figures, so that's pretty good. I gotta sneeze. Hmm, probably be another one of those in a moment. All right, and uh, we get some waist. Oh, plenty of waist articulation, but not a whole lot of bending. Just a little bit. Here comes the next sneeze. Achoo, woo. All right, so let's check out the legs. Yep, you could pretty much get them into a split if you want. They are ball jointed. Good amount of forward motion. The flaps of the part of his pants there are rubberized, so you can move it out a little bit more than you think. Uh, you can twist above the knee there. You got a single done knee, but again, I really like how that looks because it looks like a knee even when it's bent. A uh, little bit of side to side on the feet. You can definitely turn them and you definitely have a little bit of ankle movement there, but nothing too spectacular. So, all right, overall pretty good, but let's take a look at um, what we want to do here. I'm not going to switch out the hand because I definitely want to put that machete in there, but I'm more than happy to check out the bag head version. So let's see how easy it is to pop off the head. Okay, cool, did not break it. <laughs> it's always nerve wracking. And let's get this in here. I didn't really get a pop out of it, but it seems to be well on. Oh yeah, that's creepy. I like that, I like that a lot. And now let's see if we can get this machete in the hand. How difficult that's going to be. Not very difficult, I don't think. Well, it started pretty easy. It's always about just finding the right angle, too. I think that's part of it. Yeah, there we go. And now, yep. So, uh, yeah, actually, this is a really nice Jason figure. Despite this not being my favorite movie, there's some great detail going on. They've done a great work with the sculpt and the paint, and actually the articulation is really nice, so I like that. All these little dents and scratches and dings are really cool. A healthy amount of accessories, and I like the heads you get. Plus, I love that you can take the masks off. So I would have I died getting these figures when I was a kid. I would have been so happy. But that's what I think about this one. What do you think about this one? Are you collecting this? Are you excited that they're actually making the Roy Jason uh, later this year, which you'll see me unbox in this channel? Let me know, geek out with me in the comments. I definitely look forward to hearing what you have to say. Other than that though, you can click the thumbs up button. Give me the good old thumb of encouragement as I do love to be encouraged. And uh, I guess now I need to get on out of here so I can open up some more stuff. I'll see you all later.